Hi, I'm Kyle Daly with KH Daily Knives. Uh, today we're going to be heat treating some knives. I got to get asked this question quite a few times how I heat treat my stainless. I mainly use 154 CM stainless steel. Today we have uh, five 8 inch chef's knives, three 6 inch chef's knives, and one 5 inch Santuku. Most of them, all but one, have file work. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure they're all nice and clean. I've already pre cleaned all of the knives and made sure all the oil and gunk and stuff is off them. Alright, this is my uh, even heat oven. It's the KF 22.5 inch deep model. Uh, you can go to 2200 degrees. I like it. Uh, it's pretty deep for some of the some of the knives that I've done. It's got the Rampmaster 3 controller, which is super nice to punch in your uh, temperatures and times. The, the card I made out of 2x4s and 2x6s. And uh, my uh, friend's uncle make me this sweet stainless steel top. I don't think it's absolutely necessary for the heat, but it makes it look pretty cool. Got some, some pipe from Home Depot, made this sweet industrial handle. Uh, Alright, I'll show you some of the stuff down below. Alright, down here I have a lot of the things that I store for my knife making stuff. The first thing I use is this uh, vise. It's the, the first vise I used to clamp and do my handles and stuff with. Now it's been fully repurposed just for heat treating uh, with these aluminum plates. These are uh, 16 inches, or 18 inches long, uh, 1 inch thick four inches tall. Uh, really works great for plate quenching and help physically hold the steel straight while it's cooling and I blow compressed air on it. Got it mounted to a, a 2x6 so that I can clamp it to my workbench and get it out of the way for when I'm not using it. Got uh, some miscellaneous gloves. Help keep the help keep from getting burnt there. Uh, Got some little tools I made up to help with rolling down the, the edges. Um, this has a nice little curve to help push it down. This roller helps to really get some of the, the fold overs really nice and tight. You'll see later. Uh, got some tongs down here. This was the first set of tongs I used. It was really flimsy, but I liked the length. My good friend Jeff Fetter, Fetter Custom Knives, uh, forged me these tongs, which are Awesome. So, got uh, stainless steel foil. I use 321 as a max temperature of 2000 degrees. Uh, we go to 1950 for 154, so that'll be just right. I also have some ammo cans down here full of oil for uh, high carbon steel that we need to quench. I've only had to do one, one of those, uh, or two, I guess. Now, um, this is a 40 millimeter can. Uh, what's nice about it is the, the lid comes completely off, so you can warm up your oil and dunk your whole knife in there. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the, the major pieces. I like to use these scissors. Uh, has a nice offset for when you're cutting the foil. Here's the, the foil. I buy it on a big roll. So pull that out. Take our uh, eight-inch chef's knife. Kind of. I usually like to leave two to three inches on the front. Have two to three inches on the back. So it's right around here. Now that we have some pieces cut, about the, the right size for our, our blade here. We're gonna, what I like to do is fold it in half first. And then fold down this, this top edge. Now we're gonna use this rolling tool to uh, get it nice and flat and fold it over tight and then to help ensure that it 
doesn't let any oxygen in there. I'm going to fold it over again. Then I like to, to fold the, uh, the ends in. Next we're going to put the knife in. I like to do spine down for when it's sitting in the packet so the, the edge is up. Feel it's just about to the end. Okay, got this much left, so we'll fold over this other end. And then I like to take this black piece and kind of just crimp into that that corner here that it, uh, it makes, so that. The, the air is even a little more challenged to try to go in that spot. Now that we have all the, the knives wrapped up in their nice little packets airtight, that'll help prevent the carbon from coming out of the steel and uh, give us a better heat treat. Lots of people ask me what I use for heat treating. I actually use from the Crucible website their heat treat formula. <clears throat> the heat, heat preheat is 1100 to 1200F equalized then 1400 to 1450 and equalize and then the, the high heat is 1900 to 2000 for 30 to 60 minutes. A lot of smart engineers, I'm an engineer myself so I understand how much work goes into creating a data sheet like this so uh, I just do right in the middle of all those. Uh, it usually gives me right in between 59 and 60 Rockwell C when I, when I temper it at 400 for two hours. Uh, quench in air and with the, the plates. I'll show you that later. Alright, got all the knives loaded up in the oven. So we'll close the door and then uh, recall the program and then run, run our heat treat program. While that's heating up, we'll get the vise clamped. Just use some, some Bolton three inch clamps that'll do it all right so the knives have been in for 30 minutes and uh, we'll get our eye protection on gloves and hearing protection because the air compressor is going to get pretty loud um, take them out Once it's uh, cooled down, you can see the the actual uh, blade, how much the creates a vacuum pulling the, the foil onto the onto the blade.
now that they've all been plate quenched and cooled, we'll uh, take them out of the, the pouch. I usually find it easiest to, to cut up and then right along the, uh, the top folded over edge. And then you can open it up. Came out pretty clean, got a little, a little bit of discoloration along the top. Okay, all the plates look like they turned out pretty well, so we'll temper them for two hours at 400 degrees in the in the oven. All right, the two-hour tempering cycle has been complete on all the knives. Got uh, my Wilson Hard Rockwell hardness tester. Um, we'll give it a go. So we put it in here. I always want to try to do it where the blade is balanced. So we'll give it and zero it out. Start the load. Wait for it to fully load. Right at uh, 59 Rockwell. All right, we're gonna take another reading just so uh, a little bit closer so you guys can see it. So we're gonna load it up. You wanna go until this little needle is on the black dot. And then we'll zero the scale here. Apply the load right here. Wait for that knob to quit moving. And release the load. That difference gives us our measurement. It's about 59 and a half. Great. All right, all the blades came out between 59 and 60 Rockwell, which is exactly what we were shooting for. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please uh, drop them down below. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this or if you have other videos you'd like to see. Thank you.